talk today, we talked to Paul Phillips, who's um, a fan and also a friend from, yeah. from quite a few years back. He's a, a great makeup artist and he knows all about the brands and he's bought us some brilliant stuff today. And um, over to you, Paul, okay, to transform well, we've it. Just, we've just um, cleansed Jay's face in a Kiehl's cleanser, which is kind of a... You can use it with water or you can use it with damp cotton wool. So all we did was massage it into the skin and take it off with damp cotton wool. So now we've um, prepared Jay's skin in terms of moisturising and cleansing, etc. We put the primer on and now we're going to apply some corrective concealer just to cover Jay's slight red area here. So what we're going to use is a red pigment concealer which will counteract the red. But you only use it on the red because if you use it on anything that's not red it will look green. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't want you looking at the incredible hole. Yeah. So, the green areas here. I'm just going to cover those slightly. And because it's not a big area, you just need to apply it very, very gently. If you Jay's face is looking slightly worried, please don't make me green. It just tones down the red slightly. Just press that in. And it is time consuming, but if you're going out on a date or if you're going out for dinner, you want to spend time on your makeup, you don't want to rush it. You know, especially for the first day. Definitely. Definitely day. not. You want to make sure you look your best. Two hours on the first day. Yeah. One hour on the second. And then of course you Half wake an up. hour from, from then on. And then of course you wake up in the morning and he sees you in, you know, what is it? <laughs> When reality strikes. Reality strikes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know. So we've got a slight redness on this side, but only slight. So what we're what we're doing is we're creating a blank canvas. Are you gonna sneeze? No, I've just got a itch. Any broken capillaries around the nose, we can just cover those up as well. I love that in. So just warm the product up. Yes, that's it. If you warm it up, it moves yeah. about more, doesn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm the incredible <laughs> <laughs> no. What's he say? Don't make me angry or something. <laughs> Don't make me angry. He wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Yeah, he really? <laughs> really? I'll try not to. <laughs> Okay, so we're done with the corrector. Jolly good. Okay, and that's taken the redness down slightly. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now is apply a foundation. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use the one that you normally use, yeah. which is two, which yeah. you mix together. I mix together. So we're going to use that, but we're going to use that with a foundation brush. So let me stick my foundation brush out here, which I think I have a minute ago. There we go. So, so I've put a couple of things on my hands here. Which ones are they, Jo? Um, well, there's one here, which is just a BB cream. Okay. Literally body shop BB cream, which I use every day, just like in the school run. It's it's basically moisturising with a little bit of foundation. In. So it's like a tinted moisturiser. Yeah, basically. And then this is Invisible Wear, which actually EX One, which actually I got at Topshop. Um, I don't normally buy my makeup from Topshop, but um, this is just really yeah. good. And, and it's, it's nice disposable makeup as well from coverage. Topshop. You know, yeah. it's affordable as well. So yeah. I'm going to take that off your hands. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. And then again, working from the middle of the face out, we're going to apply the foundation. How do you normally apply it, Jay? Your fingers? Um, no, I use a little sponge. Okay. And do you make the sponge slightly damp before you yeah, use it? Yeah, I use a sponge. I do sometimes use a brush. Okay. It depends how thick I want it. I mean, either will do, really. But because um, I've got dry skin, I do kind of drink the foundation too. <laughs> so apply it all the way up. Make sure you pay particular attention to the hairline, because it'll get worse. And just brush it across the eyes as well. You keep forgetting it's on your hand. And then also underneath the eyes, you can just brush some across as well. So sometimes I just put put it on with the brush and then I kind of blend it with the beauty blender. Yeah. With the sponge. The sponge is good. Um, you can really get into all the nooks and crannies. Mm. You know, the brush can't get everywhere. Just close your eyes for me. 
And this actually foundation is quite dewy, isn't it? Mm. It's a nice luminous effect. Yeah. I don't like matte. No. Matte I find very aging. Well, it also it's very flat as well, makes your skin very, very flat. Mm. This kind of gives it a bit more depth. Make sure you pay attention to the jawline as well, because there's nothing worse when you have a line. So we'll just take that all the way around. And then you can also brush a little bit over your lips. Mm -hmm. Okay, kind of makes you look a little bit dead, but we're going to bring you alive again in a minute. Totally. <laughs> okay. So we're now going to go ahead with some concealer. Now I've got my concealer brush and my concealer palette. What concealer do you normally use? Boeing. Boeing? Yeah. Okay. Um, which is Benefit. Is that an all over concealer? Is that a particular eye concealer? Or... Um, mostly I just conceal this red area, which I've, okay. always, I've had for 30 Do you use any under the eyes at all? Or? Um, yes, lots of tan. I use um, their sort of. I'll show you what it is. Yeah. Um, there it is. And this is absolutely brilliant. Brightening touch for the tan. Oh, so like a tissue flat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, like a little pen, and then you just give it a squeak. And okay. That, I use that quite a bit. But we'll, we'll use a bit of that because it's always good to have something quite light reflective under the eyes. Okay. So we'll do that now. So you've done quite a bit of makeup for TV and oh God, all yeah. kinds of um, stuff. London Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week, um, bits on TV. Um, I did the first season of the Clothes Show, if you remember. Yeah. Um, where we used to come kind of do makeovers every week. Mm -hmm. um, lots of shoots. Um, yeah, all sorts. Not so much these days because my career has kind of gone a different way. Mm -hmm. But I still do a lot of makeup now and again. So um, has your makeup job taken you all over the world? Oh God, yeah. I've been, I think I've been to every single country. That's amazing. <laughs> Um, spent a lot of time in America. Um, obviously, the UK is where most of my work's been, but yeah, all across Europe. Mm -hmm. I think it's amazing all the different stuff. I mean, you know, I remember yeah. you used to have four or five products when you were a kid, and, and I mean, I think I had one eyeshadow when I was a teenager. Yeah. Um, and a mascara, and then maybe one little bit of pink lipstick. And now there's just so there's much so to choose much from, it's a bit of a minefield. Yeah, absolutely. And where do you, where do you start? Where do you start? And it costs a fortune as well, getting it wrong usually, yeah. you know, it's trial, trial also, and error. Also, when you're in the industry and stuff, you forget that not everyone knows everything. So mm. you kind of assume that everyone knows that the products are out there, but there's so much choice now. Yeah. It's kind of a minefield of what to buy and what not to buy. Well, one of the ladies that we're doing a makeover on, one of the things she said to me was, I haven't got a clue how to put my makeup on. Can you help me? So that's basically what inspired okay. me to do this. Because right. you sort of, I mean, obviously I've been putting makeup on for many, many years, mm. performing and, you know, with the whole image thing. But you forget that sometimes people just don't know how to do that yeah. stuff. Or some people haven't even got an occasion to wear makeup. So yeah. So you don't if, you, really... if you've not been shown how to do it, yeah. or you don't know how to do it, where do you start? Who teaches you these things, yeah. you know? And normally girls start off in their bedroom, yep. as Josie has. Yeah. <laughs> um, go, go down there. Camera girl. Camera girl. Um, and normally you kind of train yourself. I mean, now on YouTube, there's so many different channels and mm. tutorials that you can watch, you know. I was very lucky. When I was 14, my mum sent me to the London Academy of Modelling. Oh, nice. And uh, there I was, all five foot four of me, and I was with all these six foot giants. Um, and I learned an awful lot. Um, about sort of presentation, walking, yeah. they taught you how to present yourself, how to go to an audition, there was stuff on camera, um, and they gave you a full tutorial about makeup. Oh, brilliant. And that was where I sort of learned uh, they show you the some basics. of the basic stuff, yeah. and then I kind of went from there. And actually, when I left the band, for about three years, I was doing makeup professionally oh, wow. with um, a very good friend of mine, Tracy Osman, who's a creative photographer. Yeah. And we used to work with a lot of the London models from like Nebs and Models One who were trying to get their books together. Okay. And we'd always do, we'd sort of do the You'd classic the look and then we'd yeah. do the um, the wacky ones. And I was okay. always good with the wacky ones. Of course. Yeah. I Slightly more less. alternative looks. <laughs> uh, which, which they all needed something like that in yeah. their books. So. Okay. so we're almost there with the concealer. And we're going to apply some translucent powder just to set all of that. And you must be feeling a little bit 
exposed and having know what you look like now. No, I know. It's all right. <laughs> it's just little old me. Little old you. It's okay. all smoke and mirrors. I think um, they know that. <laughs> so what you do is just take the brush around, tap off the excess, and then you apply down the T-zone across the forehead. And I'm going to dust that across the cheeks. the eyes there and this kind of sets the foundation I think we can stab you in the eye then <laughs> get under the chin there so now we've got our blank canvas to work from we can now get to work applying some colour we're done Go on.